This one tub of Crisco All Vegetable Shortening is six pounds and can burn up to 72 days at eight hours a day. Or you have these great value brand from Walmart and these are all vegetable shortenings and they're three pounds, half of that. And this can burn for 36 days at eight hours a day. So um, the only difference are cost. See this little flame on the Crisco brand and uh, these shortening, that's what was originally intended for. So in an emergency situation where you have not prepped these candles, all you have to do is cut this back slightly, make sure it's just right at the top and just insert this in the middle and light it. And this should last you 72 days at eight hours a day. Here you can see this container looks like it's made of cardboard and lined with maybe some sort of like aluminum lining inside. So to be honest, it's not safe to use as a container, not as safe as these mason jars. So even though you can stick the candle into the tub and burn it that way, I really don't recommend doing that. There's a safer way to do it. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make three of these 32 ounce candles from one tub of this six pound Crisco brand. You can use one tub of this or two tub of these smaller size ones and these are cheaper. So I'm gonna be using this. Real quick before I start, I've been making a lot of these candles over the years. And uh, every time I post a video online, there's always concern about the flame being too close to the mouth. Um, that is a legitimate concern. So I took that and uh, make this improvement of buying the Y mouth uh, jars. So these are the same 32 ounce size, except the mouth is a lot bigger than the original one. So this is another improvement that we're gonna make on this video. This is absolutely one of the easiest thing to do. You need very little equipment. Um, you can go ahead and do this with your kid, teach them a skill that they can count on uh, for the rest of their life, a very useful skill. So um, in order to do that, all you really have to do, go ahead and open up the can. What you don't want to do is start scooping and filling this up because this is in the solid stage. And so when you put it in, there's gonna be air pockets. It's not gonna fill up all the way. So what you wanna do is melt it first in something like this and then pour it in. And that's a lot easier to do. So you just go ahead and scoop and put it in there. Okay, and this is how much we can fit in here for now. So we're gonna microwave it for 30 seconds at a time. 30 seconds, take it out, mix it. Another 30 seconds, mix it until it's all liquefied. After 30 seconds, take them out, check it back in for another 30 seconds. This is after two and a half minutes, you can see all kind of liquefied now it's easy to pour into the jar and this mason jar has the measurements right here for you and also in ounces so when you get up to here that's 24 ounce so now that you're done with this so now it's gonna have to be reversed instead of getting liquefied now it's gonna have to solidify you can leave this outside if uh, your temperature is cold enough, it will harden. Or if you need it to go faster like I do, I just, I just put it inside my refrigerator. We're gonna go ahead and melt the rest of this. And just a quick look at the empty container. See how translucent that is? You can basically see through it and uh, that's why that's one of the reasons why this is probably not a good idea to burn the candle right into the tub okay, let's go ahead and uh, do the remaining two 24 is here got some extra which i don't mind the fourth one 
Okay, these are the four that we just made today. And I just took them out of the uh, refrigerator. I put one of the candle in here already, just to see if it's soft enough to put in. And it looks like it's okay. So the other three should be all right. And there's a few candles here. These are the mainstay. And they're at uh, they're available at Walmart. Uh, I'm gonna put in a different color just to play around with it. So I have a lot of questions about what do I use for a wick, and uh, I use these. Um, there are beeswax candle that's uh, a little bit smaller, probably a lot cheaper on Amazon. You could buy a whole bunch of them. I don't need all of them. All we have to do is measure and cut the candle. All right, you want it to be just slightly above the candle line up there. So we just cut right here. All right, we got the candle cut. And all you have to do, is just stick it on there in the middle like that. And this last one, I use a different color just for fun, just to see what it looks like. There we go. And that's it. That's how you make the 72 day candles. These four candles will last you the whole entire winter. Follow me in the next video to see how I utilize these candles to keep warm by building two different types of radiant heater out of terracotta pot.